Junior in front of his, in the Norwegian booth, in front of his uh, number 96 Holston Motorsports car. How's uh, how's everything going for you? Showed it so far today. Ah, uh, we're doing good here, actually. You know, uh, uh, so we're gonna change we're gonna change this interview around here. So my question to Ken Bruce is, why would you want to work for Mike Mallet? I mean, what drives you to work with Mike Mallet? That's tough to answer. Man, he's a good guy, you know. He's a good-hearted guy. I mean, I mean, he's like the he's like the goofball of the racing scene. We really love we love him, but he's just a goofy. So we really want to know why you're enticed to work with Mike Mallet. I mean, you got to have your head checked for that, Ken. I might have to, but he he pays me well. Well, that's true. I mean, you do get the you do get the well. The question's out whether they stay together in a room at uh, Eastern States or not together. There is only the Dirt Track Digest is not this large conglomeration. Everyone thinks it is. Cheap benefits. They all stay in one room. It gets a little weird, guys. But uh, I just wanted to ask Ken Bruce here before we start my conversation. Well, you know, it's true. We do stay in one hotel room, but it's just Mike and I, you know. So. Well, well, that's all right. That's all right. We know you're married. Mike, we're still questioning here. Let's be honest on that side. But we love him dearly, but he's a great guy. So, you know, he's uh, he's built the website up from the ground, th uh, from the bottom. He's kind of the face. I'm sorry, other ones that are involved in Dirt Track Digest, but he is the Dirt Track Digest face. And then there's Ken Bruce, who we love because he loves modifieds. And we love Mike Mallet because, well, he likes sprint cars too much, but off topic. <laughs> All right, Mike. I you, I was commandeered. Sorry about that. <laughs> I can't talk. So how's the show going, Billy? <laughs> See, you guys all want boring interviews here. I mean, I can repeat the same stuff. I walk around. I talk to people. I look at pretty girls. I just walk around here. It's different stories, but we have to change it up a little bit. So, and, and in my politically correct thing, we've come here to have the. ACM Tool and Die, m and Tree Service, Phillips Garage, Danny's Pizza Bazaar, KC Service, Atlantic Sprinkler 96. As this gentleman walks in front of our interview, but that's okay. I'm glad he made it out on that side of it. Thank you for joining the party here today. <laughs> so talk about, you know, 2019, you guys had a great year together, and uh, 2020 looks even better. You know, you don't catch your eggs. Before, uh, hen you don't catch the hens before the eggs hatch. So uh, we we put our team together. We drive everything together. We've combined everything down. So uh, we're running with a little di less different teams this year and more essentially out of big nails and what I what my wheel horse is. So you know, uh, Ricky really stepped up the program. We have a gorgeous car here, man. It's one of the best cars I've seen. Uh, my own car is pretty cool myself. I, I really think that's going to be a cool thing for anybody that's seen the early '90s modifieds. They're I fell in love with this car years ago, so I'm looking forward to sharing that and uh, the way it goes. Uh, um, I'm hoping I get that sign there in about two weeks because uh, my dad hung both Bridgeport uh, Track Championship signs up, so we need to make a New Egypt Track Champion sign in our business, too. Hey, all right, you know, you and I, you know, we talk quite often. I want to get your take on all this um, stuff going on in the modifier world. Different series. To me, it'd be better for all the tracks... We're one or the same set of rules. So you want to know? So here's the story here. So you know how bad this is? And it's, I'm not getting into society today. The world changes. It's just you get beat, you cry about something. It's just the way it is. I don't complain on that side of it. So this car sits here. This is our Deo car. The doors are two inches higher than New Egypt rules. So how many people say to me today, hey, your doors are too high? Well, I know. It's not the body for New Egypt. That's what our world has come down to. It's changed, evolutionized. I don't like it. Don't care for it. Don't think all these rules are necessary. But we've gone too far past the rules to be changed for motors and stuff. It's just we've all got them. We've got to live with it on that side of it. Me, personally, I wish, dino I wish big blocks would go away. They're dinosaurs. When was the last time a big block's been in production? My kid has no idea what a big block is. There's no cars in the road with big blocks. They're cool powers to drive. But you got to entice it. We've got to have a little factor, man. I, you, got, you got these guys that ran off my dad in the back. They're a bunch of four-cylinder kids in small blocks. They don't know what a big block is. you got to drive that passion together. And that's just the factor that we're missing. The rules have gotten out of place, just gotten out of hand. We're spending $150,000, $200,000 a year to do all this stuff. But the other fact is, if you want to win, you want to play the game, that's the way it is. It's, the, to me, the rules aren't as bad as the time and effort into this and the amount of time you spent, the way the technology has gone. But eh, that's all. What did Earnhardt Jr. say on Twitter? He's going to buy a track, run four cylinders for 1000 bucks to win each week. Let's go have fun. I, I, that's the way to do it, but... We can, you and I 
like you said, we talk a lot. We could go into this for hours and talk about stuff like this, but we won't do that here. But uh, just you are going uh, to Florida for the first time for when Deo goes down there. How's the team looking towards that? And how are you looking forward to going? You know, uh, someone called Brett Deo the drug dealer of modified racing last weekend because no one knows where he comes up with the money on that side of it. So, uh, But he's a good friend of mine. And uh, I'm going to Florida because Danny Buck is one cool guy, and I'm trying to be as good looking as he is one day in our life here. That's the way I look at it. Hey, you know, that, this thing over here is pretty shiny on that side of it. Last year, hey, I'll be honest with you. If he signs my wing over here, I won the championship the last time he signed it. So if he does it again, we're good to go. Well, not last year, the first year on that side of it, as he's got a smirk together, you know what I mean? So uh, it, it's interesting on that side of it. And you need, a little, you need a little action on that side. You need people to wear it hard in the sleeve. It, it's cool to go to Florida, though. It really is. I mean, it's neat. I've been around the world. It, it pays good. It's all good. We're looking forward to it. We're taking a new car. This actually isn't our car to Florida, but uh, Ricky's awesome. And I, I, I believe this sport is about relationships and what you build of it. You, I'm here to win races, but if you ain't around people you want to be around, building it together, it's not as good. So you got to make changes. And my dad preached years ago, 45 years, there's not one car owner that has anything bad. Man, you all have bad things, but nothing that would say Billy Pouch is a, a bad person. So that's the way I take the sport, to try to push on with it. This, this video went off, off the off the path here. <laughs> it's okay. It's fun. So, but you guys want all these? We can't do the same thing every time. No, I, you know that I, you're, I, I can. Life is too short. I mean, I, I'm an honest person. I have to tell you when I step on my wheelie or not on that. You know me on that stuff. I will not cry about motor rules. I won't cry about money. I'll tell it how it is. If I can't do it, I'm going to take my kid to Florida instead of going racing. So that's my own take on it. And it is what it is. You know, Ken, you love this sport. You don't. I don't agree with the way things going. Is what are we gonna do? Speak and complain about it? I'm thankful for the good persons, the good things. It's a new decade. Let's welcome it. Let's enjoy it, and let's see what happens. I agree with you 100, percent pal. Well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your busy schedule here to talk to us, and uh, we'll talk to you down the line. And good luck in Florida. So my year is gonna be set on how many times I get to talk to this guy. If I talk to him more than 10 times, it's been a good year. And thanks for coming. Uh, as always, my guys are awesome. People make it rock. This car is phenomenal, and uh, Mike Mallet, we love you.